that quite a few of you have requested this. I'm going to teach you how to make class simulations in Blender. But not any class simulations. I'm going to teach you how to do the little pretty ones. Let's go. Okay, so here we are over on the PC. So first off, I have this simple character that I made before. Uh, it's just a basic base brush, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, so let me just sort out the colors here. Okay, so, okay, cool. So here we are over on the PC. So here's just this basic character base mesh that I have. And let's just start working on having like uh, a long coat or dress or something. So, like, go through the usual uh, process for making clothing. Let's just make like a, a tube dress, whatever it's called. So, we're gonna have it like this. So, get to like, the pelvis over here. Uh, and then, so seats like these, vertices, and like that. Okay. We're getting shifty P. Select this, these vertices. And then extrude. I'll put on my screen cast key so you can see what I'm doing. And then let's drive these vertices up here. And then put these over here, up there. Okay. We can also add a uh, solidify modifier. So we can add, also add a solidify modifier. Like that. Just add some thickness to it. Let's go opposite way. So it goes out of the character like that. Okay, that's looking fun. There you go. Okay. Maybe just J there. Uh, if you want to see the vertices of it, you can just click on that button and it'll show you all. And yeah, so now we can start extruding the dress down. So let's just select all of these, extrude down, and there. Let's adjust it on the side. Maybe what we can do is just uh, GX with here and turn on proportional editing. Just so that we don't have the legs going as far out, like that. Turn on proportional editing and extrude. Okay, there. So we have to. Add some like actual thing so there. Get this top nice, and then we can go add in one more edge. Okay, that looks fun. Okay, so this looks like a pretty decent uh, dress, whatever. And first off, before we do the simulation, we're going to have to select the parts that we don't want to be simulated, and select all of those. Add a new group. Nameless, what, uh, uh, pin, okay, and then we're going to go to physics, uh, tab, and then go to cloth, and then we're going to go to the shape and pin group, go down to pin. So now if we play this, okay, let's take this above the slid far. Let's mess around with the collision thing. Um, but yeah, so the simplest way to get this to actually work, so it's actually just hard to sort of for now for simplicity. Uh, add a subdivision surface, uh, take this above the cloth, okay. So we're going to change this to be simple, and then we're going to go add a decimate, and then unsubdivide, and take this to 4. So I can see it's back to before we added subdivision, you can see, so it looks like this. So. The reason we do that is because we're now sim we're uh, what's it? doing this simulation of this clothing over here on top and then changing that to make it look like this uh, here. We're making it look like this. So, okay, so I figured out how to get uh, more accurate collisions in with the simulation. So, the simplest way, to, well, the way I do it, I just figured out, is if you come down to shape, I mean, the collisions, okay? So you can track up the quality, so I have them four right now, and object collisions, and I change the distance. By default, this was, I uh, believe, 0 0.015. So, I changed this down to 0, and, well, it was nice to 0, 0, 1, um, and then change quality to 4. Uh, and then you can see now it's like directly on the skin and it's clipping through even so if you drag the slid far up other way the right way um, you can see if it changes to zero clipping through so let's maybe change it to let's make it like a five let's see if that works okay that's fine and then we go add a slid far uh, drag it up slightly 
and then there you go we have some collisions so if we go uh okay so we haven't rigged to we haven't rigged it the, the class so it's not that work yeah it won't so you also have to add a a skin or a weight paint to with so you have an armature you have to go apply weight paint to the mesh and then so you can because the armature goes first so then it'll have like the, the, the thing if you move the leg or have it look like this and then it'll animate from that so add weight paint to your cloth and yeah there you go